Something Digimon has had going on since at least Digimon World back in 1999 is the concept of Digimon variants. Digimon that resemble existing Digimon but have a colour or physical variation alongside often new attributes and abilities that make them distinct. For example, we have Agumon, who is a vaccine type, and Black Agumon, its recolor, who is a virus type, but also the 2006 variant of Agumon from Digimon Savers, which has a new revision to its design and and remains a vaccine. They're like shiny Pokemon or regional forms before either of those things ever existed. So I thought, well, we like making custom art videos on this channel and I always love checking out Poketubers, like my buddies Brandon from Pragmagic and my other editor Just Jamie, who make prediction videos for shiny Pokemon. So in that spirit, on today's video, I'm gonna be giving Digimon, who don't have any, their very own variants. What is up Digital Companions, my name is Carnie X and welcome back to another video. And if it's not welcome back, you need to like and subscribe to make sure it is welcome back next time because my beard was feeling so lonely it ran away from home. But don't worry, it'll grow back if you like and subscribe. <laughs> Stupidest call to action a YouTuber has ever done. <laughs> And yesterday we're giving variants to Digimon without any. But we're trying something a bit familiar and also different today. First of all, I still teamed up with some wonderful artists, Capney, HLR, and some guy 944 to do custom art for this video, but my good pal Protodubs and I also put our Photoshop fingers to the test and made some complimentary recolors and edit variants too. So a nice blend of custom art and image editing for this one, and it was a blast to put together. We're also not considering X antibodies as variants for this purpose, as they're more like an amalgamation of a mode change in Digivolution. For example, Gabumon can become Gabumon X, but never become Psychmon. Does that make sense? So up first is one I think is long overdue. Digimon Tamer's partners do quite well for variants at different levels. Black Gilmon, Kuzuharmon, Solomon, Black Mega Gargamon, and so on. Even Terriamon has a variant in Terriamon Assistant, but Lopmon has no such thing. Now I know what you're going to say, technically Lopmon and Terriamon are kind of variants of each other, and I will absolutely give you that and that is why this is the first on the list. But given that Terriamon has a Terriamon assistant, I wanted to kind of balance the scales a little bit. But seeing as we have Agumon Expert and Terriamon assistant, but fake Agumon Expert doesn't have an assistant of his own, I thought it only makes sense that I should commission Capney to create Lopmon assistant. Or Lopmon hindrance? Hindrance feeling like the opposite of assistant, I guess. Either way, this is a Lopmon in a lab coat that assists fake Agumon Expert in his devious schemes to spread lies and misinformation. Information. Lopmon Assistant has the black teacher coat and teeth and tongue collar of fake Agumon expert, but with papers clutched in its hands and those classic evil anime doctor glasses. I can see Lopmon Assistant being the actual intelligent one of the pair, but being content in letting fake Agumon expert take the charge and spread lies. But of course we have some fun recolors for the other Tamers partners too. Beginning with Renamon, I gave her a more purpley grey recolor to match Kuzuharmon, Domon, and Yokomon, and of course she has to get a black variant. This will be a theme of this video. <laughs> Impmon gets a couple of variants here I thought were really fun. First of all, Proto created a Beelstar Mon themed variant. We both kind of see this as being what the other half of Petite Mammon might become. One Impmon and one Impstar Mon? Which would then lead into Witchmon, Lady Devimon, and finally Bielstar Mon. But the other variant for Impmon had to be a Kalumon variant. A non-trickster Impmon variant that's vaccine or maybe even unknown attribute. This would be called something like Sweetmon. It's just a cute little guy. And speaking of Kalumon, of course we also had to corrupt this little cherub of light into a real trickster by giving it this wonderful Impmon virus attribute variant. A design bit I really like here is the symbol on Kalumon's head now having a yellow gem with Impmon's chest smiley face's little smile on it. Absolutely genius. And finally for Tamers, Monodramon is a special boy because he's kind of a Tamers and a Zero Two Digimon given Ken and Ryo's friendship in the Wonderswan games and flashback in Zero Two. So Monodramon is gonna get treated good. First of all, of course, is its free type variant, with a Wormmon color, of course, being essential, and would make a great rookie for Cordramon Green, but also a Wormmon coloration to tie into Vimon's role in those Wonderswan games too. But to throw one back to the OGs and make him more like them, Monodramon 
also gets a Agumon variant colour, which I think really pops, and his long overdue black variant. So hey, from Monodramon and Tamers, let's keep moving chronologically backwards by now giving some variants to the Digimon Adventure Zero 2 Digimon. And first up is a really dumb idea I had, and that is, what if Digimon Savers used Vmon instead of Agumon as the redesigned classic partner? And as such, some guy 944 crafted Vmon 2006. This Vmon, of course, had to get red armaments like 2006 Agumon, but this time red combat gloves. And as I suggested, some guy 944 gave Vmon 2006 a much more pronounced forehead V that evokes the V on All Force Vdramon, which this Vmon might ultimately become. Come. If the original Savers or Data Squad 2006 Agumon was a reference to the Adventure Agumon, although the V-Tamers Vdramon was actually an Agumon as a rookie, maybe this 2006 Vmon is still a reference to V-Tamer specifically. Imagine Vmon 2006 paired up with Marcus Damon, matching Marcus's punches but also delivering powerful V headbutts. We also gave Vmon some recolored variants too though, with Proto creating the orange Agumon version of Vmon and a Gabumon flavor too, tying in directly to the two main Digi Eggs Vmon uses in Adventure Zero 2. And then is also Black Vmon, which I just adore for those little pieces of red detailing, and the Ancient Warrior of the Tundra, Snow Vmon, to really give Vmon a good amount of variance to start rivaling Agumon. In future, I'd also maybe like to create a Bushi Vmon and maybe even Toy Vmon. So if you like this video concept of creating variants, let me know in the comments down below. Just helps me know that you want to see more videos like this specifically. So then is Hawkmon, who we again gave variants based on the Digi Eggs it uses, or specifically the Rookies that are associated with them. So we have the Beomon version of Hawkmon, and of course it's Palmon version. And to keep up that cohesion, we also had to have Black Hawkmon. And the fact that Black Hawkmon, Black Hawk Down, hasn't been used as a Digimon name before is mind-blowing to me. Then Armadillomon again is based on his two senpais, and as such gets these wonderful Tentamon and Gomamon inspired variants. I especially like how the Gomamon variant feels kind of Submarimon-like too. And a virus-type Black Armadillomon for the culture. Gatomon, of course, has Black Gatomon, Mikemon, among others, Damn Gatomon, and Patamon has Sukaimon. So we move on to Wormon, who I gave a Kunemon colored variant that I called uh, Do Wormon. This, of course, now acts as a kind of swap, as it is inspired by Kunemon's variant, Do Kunemon, who is ostensibly Wormon colored, in my opinion. Then Proto stepped in to give Wormon his virus variant and the V Tamer special, Mono Wormon, which is, of course, recolored to resemble Monodramon, as Ken and Ryo have that tight connection we talked about earlier. But of course, thanks to channel member Andrew Sobel and the wonderful artist he commissioned for the project, alongside Hiraithmon, this channel actually has its own variant Digimon mascot in the draconic Wormmon variant, Wormmon. An icy dragon Wormmon with its pre-evolutions, Mint Leafmon and Yukimi Minomon. Plus its evolutions, the striking Frostingmon champion, the triumphant Borealdramon ultimate, and the mega combined with the power of Hiraithmon to be a Welsh dragon of my homeland in Orgeldramon. This is a much more personal variant than the others on this list, but it meant such a great deal to me when Andrew and all the others put it together for me. And it fits so well to the premise of this video that I had to include it. If you ever want to see a full video or full video series where I put Hiraithmon and Wormon into kind of my own OC Digimon story, Digimon anime idea, let me know in the comments down below. Always been reticent to go full fanfic, but maybe it could be fun. All right, let's get back to adventure. Agumon, as we said has a ton of variants and so do Gabumon and even Palmon, so let's make things right for the rest of the adventure rookies, starting with Beomon. For Beomon, Proto gave her two forms. First of all is an Akilamon form, as Akilamon is kind of Beomon's other default champion in things like Digimon Savers and other media. And this also does let us do a nice little tradesies with Hawkmon earlier though. Then he also did a slight modification just to give Beomon a different coloured collar, and I think this looks so striking. This would be great as like a kind of like side semi Beomon variant, maybe be even in Data Squad. And then finally a Digimon I have been asking for for years, and that is a dedicated Sir Bergeron, the black variant of Bergeron, Rookie. I have dubbed, uh, Black Beomon? Yeah, I kind of want to say Sabiomon, but the etymology of Sabirdramon is supposedly Sabirdramon, but then the Birdra, that's the kind of etymology slash joke. Stabiomon, maybe? Sapiomon in Japanese would be good, kind of, because Sapiomon, Sapiamon, Sapia Spear, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we have righted a wrong today. Gomamon, of course, gets a black variant too, but in addition, I suggested it would be fun if it also got a kind of Psychmon esque variant. So Proto gave this this Gomamon, a 
more Psychmon coloured palette and patterns on the paws. And then finally we gave some dues to another aquatic Digimon, and variant Haver, you're welcome Hunter, with our Betamon themed Gomamon. This boy is definitely eventually becoming either the Seedramon line or Plesiomon. Then is Tentamon, who got some of my favourite recolours honestly in this video. His black variant of course having the purple eyes and underbody rocks, but then we move to our blue Tentamon, which is meant to more resemble Kabuterimon and blue Mega Kabuterimon, before finally dropping the boom by giving Tentamon a variant based on Beetlemon from Frontier. This is such a fun concept and really feels like almost a fighting game palette swap situation. Proto did so well with this, it's awesome to have another alternative to Ko Kabuterimon. It also somewhat scratches an itch I've always wanted to do, a video where we took the idea of the Frontier spirits but made them less kind of homages to adventure and just firm send-ups. So like what would a Goonimon look like if it was firmly based on War Greymon? What would Chakmon look like if it was based on Plesiomon, Zudomon, Vikemon, you know? While those influences are still in there, I just took in a more overt, like really in your face designs for them. Hey, while we're talking about adventure, what about the recent Digimon Adventure movie partners? First is Meikumon, who is a counterpart or kind of rival to Gatamon, even sharing Digivolutions and the same variant rookie and in training forms. But I would say Meikumon is a little more than just a variant of Gatomon. The relationship feels more like Agumon and Vimon to me than Gatomon and Black Gatomon, you know? So to honor that connection, Proto gave her a Gatomon variant, perhaps called Tail Meikumon and a Black Meikumon. Imagine Black Gatomon and Black Meikumon hanging out. So sweet. And of course, in Last Evolution Kizuna, we met Morphomon for the first time. So I commissioned HLR Art to give Morphomon a new variant that is a moth. Moth confirmed. <laughs> so this would be a data attribute Morphomon that is much more timid and untrusting of humans than its butterfly cousin. I named it Noctumon, coming from the Noctuoidea, a super family of moths, which relates to Morphomon's name because Morphomon comes from the Morpho, a genus of butterfly. This is just such a cool little guy. It's so cute. We need more moth Digimon 100%. Oh my God, it can Digivolve into Mothmon. And can we forget our newest adventure slash adventure 02 partner? Of course not. For Ukomon, I just wanted to keep things simple. Its design is based on tulip jellyfish and also possibly sea angels. Tulips, the flower, are also a symbol of deep love. So I figured we should really firm up a connection to another sea angel love-filled Digimon, Marine Angemon. And so I created Anja Ukomon. I took the color of Marine Angemon's body and its heart and applied it to Ukomon, as well as giving Ukomon Marine Angemon's holy ring collar. A very simple change, but effective, I think. And then finally is a bonus piece by the wonderfully generous Sumguy944. Originally, I wanted to just do a recolor variant to give Pulsemon a virus type, but Sumguy944 went the extra mile and created no Pulsemon. This is a BBmon who its Digimon VB owner neglected, but rather than reverting back to a Digi Egg due to its lack of vitals, it instead death digivolved to no Pulsemon. This is also somewhat reminiscent of the Beta Pulsemon art I talked about in a previous video. I love the simplicity of the name no Pulsemon, it literally having no pulse, and it evokes Digimon names like Dun Devimon. This would be a virus Pulsemon variant that is by default designed to become all of Pulsemon's virus evos, like Namakemon, Climon, and of course Shroudmon with less difficulty. Anything that is the darkest or laziest route is perfect for this abandoned dead Digimon wrapped in bandages with a literal broken heart on its chest. Shit, that got a bit dark, huh? Anyway, let me know what you want to see next. International Digi Destin partner variants, champion Digimon variants, armor Digimon variants, everything's on the table. If you like us to do a mix of custom art and image edits, I am super down. Helps with the budget a little bit too. I'm not gonna front. And of course, like and subscribe because that is the easiest visual identifier I have if people enjoy the videos. Huge shout out to Proto, HLR, Capney, and some guy 944 Please do go check out their links in the description down below. They made this video possible. And my sovereign ZDK14, as well as everyone you can see on screen right now for supporting this channel with their hard earned money. Members also make videos like this possible. When we don't have sponsors, members are the ones that absolutely kill the game. So thank you so much for becoming a member, getting early access to the videos and more. Check out the video below me and I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.